a burial ceremony fit for a king, even one that died hundreds of years ago. The body of Britain's King Richard III left the University of Leicester for its final resting place at the Leicester Cathedral, where he will be reburied next week, nearly 530 years after he was killed in battle and dumped in a humble grave. His remains were discovered in 2012 in the parking lot of an old church in Leicester. DNA from his skeleton was traced back to a direct descendant of the king's sister, which helped researchers identify that the remains belonged to Richard. Yeah. Lead archaeologist Richard Buckley. It's, a, I mean, it's an unu very unusual thing for us to be involved in. It's, it is absolutely unprecedented. We've had many occasions where we've excavated ordinary medieval burials in Leicester, uh, several thousand, in fact, from some of our excavations, and we've had some of those reinterred in the municipal cemetery uh, in Leicester in, in, in large graves. Uh, but, yeah, never, we've, we've never actually reinterred a single individual uh, with this sort of status. So it's, it's, it, is, uh, it is a steep learning curve for many people involved. Killed at the Battle of Bosworth Field in central England in 1485, Richard was the last English king to die in battle. After his casket arrives at the Leicester Cathedral, the public will get a chance to bid the king farewell before he's laid to rest one final time.